hello everyone welcome back in this video you will learn how to use the aggregate function in microsoft excel to explain the use of aggregate here i have few examples first of all go to this example number one where i have some data of the sales for different months here my requirement is to calculate the average and max for every single month in this case if i use the simple average function here then I will get a error message because some row has error in this data. Here, let me use this function is equal to average open bracket, then select the range close bracket. Now I got NA error. This is because some row are containing error values. Similarly, here in the maximum, if I use the max function directly, I'll get the error message due to this error in the row. So in this case, we can use the aggregate function to eliminate or to exclude these error row. So here, let me use the aggregate. Phrase is equal to then type the aggregate function. When you type ag here, it will suggest the function. Double click on it. Then here you can see different calculation options like average count, count A, max mean and so on. So here we need the average of the numbers. So double click on the average, then give a comma. Now here you have an option to ignore the error values, which is in the option number six. So double click on the ignore error values, then give a comma. Now in the array, select this range of data. Then close the bracket, press enter. Now you got the result. This gives you the result by excluding these error row. Now you can drag this till the end and all the average values is calculated. So this is the first use of aggregate. Here also you can use the formula in the same way. Let's go to second example where we need to calculate the total and here if you see in the data there are two row hidden the row number seven and eight is hidden here my requirement here is to calculate the total of the number from the visible row only i need to exclude the hidden row here in that case also i can use the aggregate so press is equal to then type the aggregate function then here i need the total so choose this function number nine that is the sum function then give a comma now here we have to take another option that is ignore hidden row which is in the number five so select this option then give a comma in the array select this number range close bracket press enter now i got the total from the visible row only if i use here a direct sum function then the result will be different because sum function adds the value by taking the hidden row as well here you see this is given as 1273 which has added the values from the hidden row too so this is the second example of aggregate let's go to the third example where i need to calculate the average and in this case i have to exclude the error value and also exclude the hidden row because here too the row number six is hidden my requirement is to calculate the average from the visible row only and by excluding the error values in this case also I can use the aggregate so here type aggregate function then select this average function comma now I have to take this ignore hidden row and error value option that is in the number seven so here you can see different other options too that you can use according to your requirement here i am taking this number seven then give a comma in the array select the number range then close the bracket press enter now this is the average of the number by excluding the error values and by excluding the hidden row now you can use the fill handle to drag this formula to write so this is the way of using the aggregate function in Microsoft Excel and this much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.